What's Up writers. We're getting so close to writing our information essays about teen activism, but there's still a few things that we need to take care of before we're ready to write in a way that's organized and hits all the key parts of what being a teen activist means. Let's check it out. Okay, writers, last time we talked about being able to see the whole of the topic we are looking at. And we compared this to the parable of the three blind men and the elephant and how if you're just focused on one little part of the elephant, you don't understand what the whole elephant is. And in the same way, if we only focus on one teen activist, then we won't know what teen activism is. And if we can get this big idea of teen activism, it's at that point that we can break it apart into the key parts that make it up. We might call those subtopics. Okay, in order to do that, we're gonna build a mental model. That means that we are gonna, in our mind, have this idea of what teen activism is. And in order to get that, we're gonna be filling it with these pieces that, going, are, that are going to make up what teen activism is. In order to have those pieces that we can insert into that model in our head, we're going to need to ask ourselves this question. How does this one thing I found out go with what I know about the whole topic? In other words, if I had one detail about Malala, I should think, does, how does this go with teen activism as a whole? Does it? Okay, right before you, we have an example of me free writing, free writing after I focused on one teen activist. I said, which one do I know the most about that I could start with? Malala, for sure. And you might want to start with her as well. So here's what I started writing. What sticks in my mind with Malala is the way she talks, she uses such strong words and ringing phrases. She sounds so professional. So a couple things. One is, notice the part that I underlined. What sticks in my mind with Malala is the way she talks. So that part that's underlined gets my thinking going. Sometimes it's hard to just start with, Malala is very professional because I might not have had that thought. It's the thinking that needed to happen and was helped by that sentence starter. So I encourage you to use something like that. What stick in, sticks in my mind about this activist is. But hey, they're, they're in the red. This is what I realize. Whoa, I'm just thinking something right now for the first time. I hadn't thought this thing before. So the thing I'm thinking that I hadn't thought before was this. Now that I think about it, I wonder if someone is coaching her in all the speeches that she gives. Because how else would she know to do that so well? Does she have a parent who's there to coach her? So that's sort of me growing my idea. First, I free wrote and I had an insight. And I thought, huh, yeah, she speaks really well. So now I'm taking that seed that's my insight and I'm planting it on my paper and I'm writing more about it until I've grown it into something larger and hopefully something that I could then ask the question we said earlier, how does this go along with teen activism? So now I've got this insight that I grew. Does she have a parent coaching her? So what's the next step? What should I be writing about? I'm sure that a lot of you are thinking right now, we need to compare it back to teen activism. So how is this true for all teen activists? That's great that we found out this one thing, but if it's only about Malala, that's not gonna help us get a picture of the whole. So now that I thought of that question, how is this true for all activists? I wrote about one that I thought of because I've done the research already, I don't have to go back. If you couldn't think of any, 
and nothing popped into your head, that might be telling you you need to do more research. But for now, here's what I got. I'm thinking of the boy, Alex Lynn, who wanted to get rid of e-waste in Rhode Island, who came up with bills against e-dumping. The story about him quoted his father a lot, so clearly his father was involved. Do you notice that I didn't do a search for Alex Lynn? Did Alex Lynn's father help him? Google's not going to tell me that. I'm going to have to watch the videos about him and read about him and see if his father is involved. If his father's involved, then hey, I found two activists so far that were teens and they got help from their parents. Seems like a pretty good bet then that this is a common thing, that a part of the whole of teen activism is that parents help their kids. So, what steps did I take then? What steps did I go through to come to that conclusion? Hmm, think about them. There's three steps, I think, that are important to do. And in some ways, they're, they're sort of a step zero. So, step zero to me is focus on a topic. So, obviously, we've already chosen teen activism. And then we're going to focus even more. We're going to focus on an activist. This is not something that should be challenging if you've been doing the work, like if you've already written profiles about each activist. So, we're going to free write about one of them. That was when I realized she's super professional. Second, I grew that insight. I realized that maybe it's because her parents have been helping her. We know we saw her father involved. That was step two. We grew it further. Step three, I said, is this true for all activists? So I saw if the insight could be applied to the whole. And that's it. That's how you're going to start to develop these subtopics or key parts of your teen activism subject. Imagine we've got teen activism up here at the top and we've, it's like an octopus. We've got these little tentacles hanging down. Well, each one of those is what makes up really the octopus. In this case, each of these little subtopics we're finding out that teen activists get help from their parents are going to be what supports that big idea at the top of what is teen activism. Okay, class. I hope that helped you out to prepare yourself for when we write our essays very, very soon. And I think that we have some work ahead of us. If you haven't written profiles about teen activists, I'd do that first. Remember, we had questions previously that were helping us to write those profiles. If you didn't see that, go back and check out lesson two, the elephant parable. If you've already done that, then you're ready to free write and follow these three steps right in front of you in order to prepare yourself to have key sub topics for your essay. Until I see you next time, happy writing.